there are some things that the meta verification does not do for you that many people believe that it does. And if it actually did this one thing that people think that it does for you, I would have to step back a little bit from my present position. Not much though, because this is still something you shouldn't have to pay for, but it would make the verification subscription bundle more compelling to creators, which is something Adamo series said they want to do. And so if anyone in Meta sees this video or if anybody watching knows anyone in Meta, please send this video to them or at least make the suggestion to them that they should include the feature I'm going to be sharing with you today that they do not have in Meta Verified. One thing I want to discuss with you about Meta Verified Instagram is security. Now, formerly, if your account was hacked on Facebook or Instagram, you could send them a photo ID and Facebook, to my knowledge, and Instagram possibly would tell you in some cases that there's nothing they can absolutely do about it. And so while I'm sure that if you're Meta Verify subscribe that Facebook will actually try to help you out more probably, I don't know, I haven't spoken to anyone who's been hacked since subscribing for Meta Verify. But what I do wanna let you know is that one of the first things people do when they hack your account is to change your account email and your contact information so that you can't get back into the account and they swap it out with another email of a hacked identity. And for one reason or another, Facebook views the account as belonging to the person whose contact information is on file, especially if two-factor authentication is turned on. And you have to turn on two-factor authentication to get Meta verified. You will not be approved for if you do not have two-factor authentication turned on. Two-factor authentication is strong and it does protect your account, but only to a certain point. Because even if you have on two-factor authentication, your account can still get hacked. And if your account is hacked, one of the first things that hackers are going to try to do is change your email. And I've asked some people in my Facebook group, and you guys can let me know in the comments, but you can't change your profile picture. You can't change your profile name, but for some reason, you can still change your contact information. And for me, that is just disturbing because if you're going to lock the account down so that it's verified, and if Meta is watching or anyone who works at Facebook is watching, they should absolutely lock the contact information down as well. We actually launched a new website this week to help people whose accounts were compromised or hacked. So you can go to Instagram.com slash hacked and get some help, no matter how you ended up in a bad spot. So they do have a website, Instagram.com backslash hacked. But why not just lock down the display name as well as the account email or contact information with the photo and the username. So that if you are hacked, you know your display name's not changing, you know your photo's not changing, you know your username and email are not changing because two-factor authentication is not a stone wall people cannot get around. People have been and are continuing to be hacked with two-factor authentication turned on on several different platforms. But that would actually be a feature that made Meta Verify so much more valuable. So instead of making verification just something about verifying who I am and focusing on finding people impersonating the creator, let's focus on making Meta Verify an actual security measure by not only locking down the profile photo and the display name, but lock the username and the contact information for two-factor authentication as well. So that if someone's account is compromised, all they have to do is go to their account and press reset password and they know that they can reset their password and kick the hackers out immediately. So the video was done, but I wanted to add this segment. I've been messaging back and forth with someone on Instagram that I met through the Meta Verify video. Their account just got hacked. I'm not gonna say who it is, but their account got hacked and they're trying to get it back right now. And the first thing the hackers did was they changed the email. They changed the email, they changed the name of the account. And so now even when he's going through Meta Business Suite and Business Manager, it's impossible for him to get access to the account. He already has the legacy verification, but I told him to go ahead and sign up for the, the Meta verification. Uh, they know who he is, so he shouldn't have any problems recovering his account. But if Meta tells someone who has legacy verification and then purchased verification, that they can't do anything about retrieving their page, then that should tell you everything you need to know about Meta 
and about Meta Verify. I hate when people get their accounts hacked and you can turn on two factor authentication and that can help. But even then, that is not a foolproof way to keep your account safe. And so you just have to be careful when you're online, especially when you have valuable assets like Facebook accounts or Instagram accounts with large followings. Because there are bad actors on the Internet who say, hey, I want to get that account. They run all type of phishing scams and get you to click on links. Next thing you know, you're locked out of your account and you can't get back in. If you're watching this video, most likely you are a content creator on Instagram or you're someone whose Instagram account is very important to them. Right now, there's a new way for you to actually monetize your content on Instagram. And there are some great things coming to Instagram Reels before this year is over. And I want you to watch this next video that's going to break this news to you and show you what you need to be doing right now to start monetizing your Instagram content.